Thank you for joining us today. My name is Gail Watson, President and CEO of Women's Speakers Association, the go-to place for innovative leaders, change agents, and women with a message to connect, collaborate, and grow their visibility worldwide in order to fulfill her mission. And as part of fulfilling this mission, we are excited to introduce you to the book, Voices of the 21st Century, a book featuring a collection of female voices rising up to educate, guide, and inspire. And here with us today to share her story is our featured author, Kamini Wood, a bold, brave, and brilliant woman who shares uh, a personal story, a very personal, powerful story. So I'd like to uh, welcome you to the show. Thank you, Gail. It's good to be here. Yeah, very exciting to have you. Um, I love your story because uh, your story is one that is relatable to many. And um, what I first, as before we dive into your story, I first want to know, like, what attracted you to want to share this story and be a voice of the 21st century? Honestly, I was attracted to being part of this book because I truly believe that each woman has an inner voice that should be heard and needs to be heard. And I really was able to connect with the idea that we should celebrate women and give them a place to speak and to be heard. Love it. So um, let's talk about this story. Like, where did it originate from? I mean, it came from within you. I know it was a very vulnerable experience for you. And it, you know, it's your <laughs> first time coming out in the book, right? So, yeah. um, you know, talk to us about that. Where, where did this story come from? Well, the name of my uh, story is Step Out of Your Shadow and Into Your Light. And this came from deep within. Um, I grew up in a small town in Connecticut. Uh, I was, um, my family was one or two, we were, there were, I think there were two Indian families growing up in Connecticut in a very predominantly white town. And so from a very early age, I learned that I needed to try to fit in and I became very codependent on external validation. Um, and so when that imprinted on me as a young child, it was difficult to step into my own power and to realize that it's okay to be my own self leader. The catalyst to change that happened when I became a mom. I'm now a mom to five. Uh, they age, range in age from five to 18 or almost 18, I should say. I have three girls and two boys. And I realized that I needed to show them how to be a leader. And so through this chapter, I talk about the pillars of building yourself into your own self resilient self leader to step away from being codependent on external validation or being a hostage to expectations, but rather really anchor into your own resilience and to know that you can be unapologetically yourself. And that's really okay. That's powerful stuff. Um, and uh, I love that it was, I mean, the power of becoming a parent and uh, looking at you right now, when you say you have kids ranging from five to 18? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like, um, it's hard to believe. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> so you always, uh, and I love that, that um, you really stepped into you know overcoming yourself to really change um the way for your for your children growing up to see that really powerful role model so are you helping others now like how has this story impacted your life so through my own self transformation i really um i really have anchored into this idea of self resilience and i have actually uh, begun coaching other women and actually teen girls and helping them embrace this um, inner power, this moving away from the anxiety and the stress that comes with trying to meet the expectations of others or trying to be everything for everyone else. Um, so I do have a coaching uh, business where I work with women and teens on leaving behind 
uh, expectations and stepping into their power so that they can be confident in their ability to make informed choices and know that they can face all of life's ups, downs, twists, and turns um, and know that they're going to be okay. You know, because in life, you don't know what's going to happen, but knowing that you have the inner resilience to be able to handle it is something that I am truly inspired to be a part of and truly want to help uh, women and teen girls step into that power. That's such a big, um, big deal is, you know, releasing, trying to please other people and feeling inadequate because of what they think, or even those those hidden voices inside our head that, I mean, you know, they, they haunt us even in today, even though you know you shouldn't listen to them, those voices in your head. Um, oh, absolutely. And I think it happens with um, all ages. It's just that it happens in different ways. But I think teens deal with it. You deal with it in your 20s and your 30s and your 40s and, and so on. And that feeling of be not being good enough, I think, is a real issue that we all deal with. Um, and learning tools and mechanisms to handling that and how little mindset sh uh, shifts can really make a huge difference. I love that. And I want to applaud you for really being able to take your experience in life and to, to help create transformation in the lives of others. And as a mother of a, well, she's a 21 year old now, but <laughs> um, as a teen uh, mother, it was, it's, it's awesome to be able to give our, our kids now in today's world those type of tools. So I think it, um, that's fantastic. So I want to thank you for that. Uh, so with our listeners, there's probably somebody sitting right now going, oh my goodness, <laughs> I, I relate to you. I'm hearing those voices. That's exactly how I feel. What do you say to that listener right now? I would want that listener to realize that they are exactly who they are supposed to be, first of all. Um, all of your strengths, power, resilience is inside you. Sometimes you just need a little support to rediscover it and realign with it. But your journey is your journey, and you are meant to be where you are, and it's just a matter of giving yourself space and time to work through whatever it is that's coming up for you. Love it. Love it. Okay. So just as you're speaking here, I'm thinking this would be a phenomenal uh, story to gift someone, especially a teen out there who, uh, so I'd like to challenge the listeners right now. If you know of somebody in your world that may be struggling with that, really that I feeling that they don't fit in, that they don't belong, that they, um, that they're not worthy. I mean, this would be a phenomenal gift to give them. And so what I'd love to ask you is if people wanted to order the book from you directly, would you be willing to give a personal note or personal autograph in that book to that person? Absolutely. I think that would be beautiful. And that's life changing. And that's really making a difference in somebody else's life. So I love that. Okay. This is great. So um, how, okay, I want to, if I want to get a signed autograph copy from you, where, where, where do I go? Uh, you can just visit my website, which is www.itsauthenticme.com and you can order it from there. And you are truly an authentic you. I love it. Authentic <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful. So thank you so much for, for sharing your story. Um, as part of Voices of the 21st Century, um, you are really someone with a message uh, that will create a lasting ripple effect on this planet. So I wanna really thank you for that and stepping into it. Uh, thank you so much, Gail. And I also wanna thank uh, the listeners for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed this interview and uh, we invite you back uh, to hear another amazing woman share her powerful story. So thanks for joining in and we'll see you again soon.